Jair got paid! Nation. Welcome to an episode of Podcast, the podcast where you don't have to be back or saying, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. Finally, we can enjoy a summer without any drama. Grassi and breaking news, corner, yoga lover, and beautiful eye holder. Jair Alexander <laughs> has been extended by the Green Bay Packers a four-year $84 million deal. And you might be saying, Tom, does Jair Alexander really deserve Christian Kirk money? But this shouldn't have been a surprise for anybody. The Packers have been working on an extension for Jair Alexander. It really was never a thought that they would let him walk. I know with additions like Rasul Douglas and Eric Stokes, people were like, oh, well, maybe you let him go. Nay, nay, you don't let one of the best corners go. And so the Packers instead decided to give him a lucrative deal. He got a $30 million signing bonus, which is a record for any defensive back. He's getting an average of $21 million a year. It takes him through the 2026 season. And considering he's only 25 right now, by the time that contract is done, he'll turn 30 in February. So the Packers have locked him down for the prime of his career. Now, obviously, the money that we're throwing at him is significant, $31 million in year year one. However, his base salary is only $1.076 million for this upcoming season, which actually is going to help the cap and maybe allow the Packers to sign somebody else. But in the second year of this deal, it's $45 million, And in the third year, it's going to be $61 million. Now, the salary cap is supposed to shoot up, which will definitely help alleviate some of that. Also, we'll see some of the current big contracts that are on the books may no longer be there. But the Packers did the most important thing and they got him because this season he was to play on his fifth year extension which would have been about $13.2 million. And now, and I've said this now for a few weeks, this defense has the potential to be really, really special. You have an amazing secondary with Rasul Douglas, Jair Alexander, Eric Stokes. On top of that, of course, Darnell Savage. We'll see what he can do. And Adrian Amos, who's one of the most underrated guys on the team. You add in a guy like Quay Walker, Devontae Wyatt, and of course, Preston and Rashawn Gary. This defense has the potential to be very, very special. And you might have people go, well, the defense wasn't the issue last year, which is true. They were top 15 in every single category, and I think they have potential to be either top 10 or top 5 this year. But you also need to look at the guys that are returning. Elton Jenkins, David Bakhtiari are all coming back. Robert Tunyon is coming back. And yes, Devontae Adams is gone. And MVS is gone. But they have new wide receivers. So let's wait to cast any judgment before we see the offense take a single snap. The point is, is even though the defense was good, now they have the potential to be great and excellent. On top of that, the special teams was 32nd in the league last year. And now you bring in Rich Passaccia, who is going to make sure that they're not 32nd. So the Packers overall, I think, are improving, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Yes, on the special teams. And we're going to wait and see how they're going to be on the offense. But this is a massive deal to get done. I'm so happy that it got done. And now we see what this defense can do. And to see if that old adage is true if defense can really win championships. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. How do you feel about this deal? Let me know. You can just find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or TomGrossyComedy, all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grossy. And as always, Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go!